Okay, hey guys, it's me. I know it's been a minute, but I'm really going to make this video really, really short because I've tried to record it three times already and I keep forgetting what I want to say. So, here we go. We started TTCing uh, this month. Well, actually, January. We just rolled into this month and I am now 8 DPO. I, I, I hit my LA surge earlier than expected and we went ahead and rolled with the 36 hours after a positive OPK. I do this because it, it came so early and me only testing every day the same time, it kind of fucked up my plan to, as we get closer to my expected uh, ovulation, uh, fertile window, um, I was going to test more frequently so I can try to pinpoint it. Didn't work. My body said, no, we're going to do it now. So, got a positive, and I was oh, shit. Um, hopefully, UPS is not going to hinder us in any kind of way. They can't. We, we got our package the next day, which was a Tuesday, and we went ahead and send. We did use pre-seed, which was the first time ever we have used it. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that made things real nice down there. Uh, prior to... Uh, doing the whole process i have lost weight so hope hopefully that would help us i lost almost 20 pounds um trying to make things nice and cozy in there and not too you know crammed so yeah that was a factor um what else i felt when i was able to i felt my ovulation um and i did have discharge i um, I always confirm it with the discharge. Um, it's like a little bit of blood. I guess it's similar to implantation bleeding. I don't know. I have experienced implantation bleeding. But I hear that it's similar to that. So that happened. What else? And that was it. I forgot about it. I forgot about the whole situation because I was like, you know what? I'm not going to stress myself out this time. Because that's all I did whenever we TCC'd. I always stressed myself out. And... I used to always think <clears throat> that, you know, I was going to be the one to get some symptoms or something like that, or I was going to have, like, fatigue all the time. I was going to, you know, shit that you think you're supposed to get before you implant, but it's really nothing. It's just all up in your head. That comes from overthinking it, and I didn't want to do that. So, that brings us to now. I feel like my period is coming on right now. Okay, the issue with that is my period is not supposed to come on until the 14th and it is the third. The fuck. Right? Like, that's not right. Like, I'm not understanding. Like, my whole body has shifted into this new program and it didn't even alert me of it. So, I guess I'm going to just roll with the punches. But, I really do feel like I just felt implantation. I've been feeling... Pinching. I've been cramping for like since nine o'clock this morning, and I'm still feeling crampy. I feel like my period is sh it's like if I stand up, I'm gonna see a red spot. That's how I feel. Um, but I feel pinching, like somebody's pinching the fuck out of my inside, and it's like more towards this side right here. Like here's the middle, and like my shoulders or my hips, right? So here's the middle. Like, right here. So, it's not a definite left, but it's, like, right there on that side. That's where I feel discomfort. I, have, I haven't had any implantation bleeding. Um, I don't know. I might get it tomorrow. I don't know. Or I might be on the ones that don't get it. And that's okay. That's fine. But, yeah. A sister feeling like she about to um, gush for the next couple of days. And I'm hoping that, you know, for the best. I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping that I'm pregnant. Because this right here is very, very strange for me. Um, and this this crabbiness that I have, like, going on up in here, I don't think it's from, like, my mood being, or my hormones changing or whatever. But my wife just said that she's home. But... I feel like it's because me and my wife are doing this dumbass diet and I really want some chocolate. And I'm mad because I didn't prepare myself mentally to do this. 
she wanted to do it and then she said can you do it with me and i was like you know what we wives and we'll ride or die so guess what i'm gonna do it with you so yeah i'm doing it and now i'm in a pissy ass mood today's the last day good god and i'm gonna have me some uh curry tomorrow <laughs> all right but yeah um i went off on a tangent anyway um Let's see what else. Oh, I taste like I licked a penny. Like my mouth, like in my mouth, it tastes like I licked a penny. It's kind of gross, but I've been tasting that for a while now. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm getting sick. I just got over, literally got over a cold not too long ago. Um, I hope I'm not getting sick because I do not take sickness well. I haven't been able to sleep, which has been really weird. Um, and I have to cuddle before I go to sleep, which is weird too, because I mean, I'm, this, this is not symptoms that I'm, I'm telling y'all, but I had, I'm having a hard time sleeping. Um, but that's it. I can't go off my chest because you know, I just had surgery and I'm still like pretty much healing. So nerves are reconnecting. So I can't be like, oh, my breasts are sore. Like, no, the one thing I, I, I must share, I can feel in this nipple now. Like, this is great. Like, after surgery, I had all kinds of sensation here, but here it was like really numb. But when I went to the doctor and I was like showing her like I don't have sensation here, and I was like, wait a minute, I could feel that disregard. I could feel my titties again. It's just certain areas that are still a little um, numb, but I'm guessing like after over time, uh, those nerves will reconnect and yada yada yada. If y'all want to know more about my reduction. Uh, experience leave a comment or whatever or you can email me or message me and i can talk more about it but you know there's other people on the youtube that can do it or that have done it but if you want to know my experience just let me know and i'll let you know because you know i have no shame and if it could help if it helped me i'm pretty sure it could help anybody out there um yeah my wife said she was home but i don't see her she's probably at the um what you call it at the mailbox but anyway yes uh I think I got everything out that I want to get out. If not, then I'll make a follow-up video. Um, baby dust to everybody. And please send me a lot of baby dust because we really want this child. Oh, new donor. Did I tell y'all that? I don't think so. New donor as well. Still unknown, but he's he's new and he has previous pregnancies. So we're, um, fingers crossed. <laughs> I feel so sassy right now. But anyway, I'm about to make this video uh, over because I have nothing else to say. All right. Bye.